Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. I'm your trend time, I'm your girl time Mars. Today I'm doing a wig review on this unit. A lace front from the Isis collection called Super Jackie. In this video I'll be showing you how I styled this unit from start to finish and I'll be telling you all the details of this unit with my review. Just keep watching. Yeah. Prostitution whore. It's really nice. But let's customize this a bit, shall we? Be right back. So I wanted to start off with giving you a close-up on the beginning stages of the hairline and how there's no defined part. With the help of my styrofoam mannequin head, I secure my unit down and I begin to section off where I would like my defined part. Now to define my part, I use a set of tweezers and I pluck out the extra hairs and I thin it out to my likeness so it look like a realistic scalp. Now we have our defined part, I go over it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. My reason for doing this with my synthetic wigs is to reminisce bleaching a human hair lace front. It's kind of the same thing. Now I know what you're thinking, we definitely can't leave our wig just with concealer. So we fade out the edges with a hair mascara that I purchased from my local beauty supply. Now I go over it a second time with my mascara using the color brown again just so it can look ombre like a normal scalp. And here's the final product of our part. Now this part is definitely optional, you don't have to do this, though I feel like every unit needs to be framed in your face. So I go over it with my razor comb that I purchased from my local beauty supply. This is my red kiss curler wand. I flatten the top of my part because I don't like the weird bumps from the wig. If you're doing a whole lot of layering, you end up having a lot of flyaways and your hair gets bigger. So I spray my unit with regular water. I don't use any product on my synthetic units. Then I take a little bit of my edges in the front just as a shadow of my hairline. So this is the unit, Isis Collection Super Jackie. Now, this is a very affordable wig. I believe I got it for $30 at my local beauty supplies, but many websites have it for way cheaper, so I totally feel duped. Whatever. But so far, I really like the unit. It's really soft. I do a lot of tweaking though, because as you can see from this clip, it gets super wiggy, really weird, and kind of look like Teresa Giudice. No shade though. Let's give you the information on this unit. The full description of this wig for the Isis collection is the style is a RCP 289 Super Jackie in the color 1B is actually heat resistant so that's always good but anytime I get wigs like that I'm never gonna flat iron this because soon as you flat iron it ladies honey loveies let me give you the real you'll never get this style back me personally I can because I'll probably roller set it with some perm rods but let's not even stress all that so this unit is a lace front with a deep side part. Now you can actually style the unit from the side or the middle, but as I was styling this wig through the video, I didn't like the way it really looked in the middle. I'll probably figure out later on, but you know, this is one of those Tony Braxton, not even, you know what I feel like. Beautiful liar, like I kind of feel like I should be rolled on. 
but I can tell you that the parting space for the lace part part isn't that isn't that much. It's about maybe two and a half inches, but this deep side part is really long. I say it's about maybe four inches precise. And I mean, that's pretty good since it's not a full lace front detail, so you can play with it with your own hair that you can leave out, as well as wearing it without edges out. So, I mean, you work with it. For me personally, I do take my edges out, but only a little bit, because I mean, I use wigs as protective styles, and being natural in a 4C, my hair is an eagle broccoli. Plus, for me personally, I use wigs in between my sewing so I can give my hair a break. And in the winter months, all natural girls know that's the worst time. My hair either gets really weird and dry and then it does like this weird slope of wrong. So yeah. But I have to say I really like this unit. And it's really long also. Like I'm 5'5", five five, so this wig basically goes to my hip. So you're getting a lot of length for the price that you're paying. The unit also comes with tape, but it is also a glueless unit. So the combs are pretty good. There's one in the back and there's three in the front, so you're very secure. Me personally, you can wear them over braids or for girls who have shorter haircuts, gel it all the way down. And my favorite gel is Eager Stylist Gel. And you can use that, gel it down, wig cap, you're good. I really like this unit and I recommend it to any diva or any girl who likes big, you know, ring hoody, Shaka Khani hair like me. My inner drag comes out serious and it's also beginner friendly now for me I customize it a lot because I already feel like it's a synthetic fiber here you can't just wear it straight out the pack I believe every unit needs to be customized according to the person like for me for instance with any of my units I'm able to wear in the middle or the side and this will always be my distinctive part so I won't have to continuously change it over. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video from the styling tips to the details of my review. If you like to see more videos like this, give it a big thumbs up. If you like to keep up with me, hit that subscribe button and comment down below for anything that you would like to know more about this unit. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video so you get styling ideas on this unit. Until next time, later love you.